Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What is going on, everybody? My name is Zell Prince. Welcome back to yet another reaction. Now, today I got another Nuke's top five for you guys. Well, instead of a top five, we got a Nuke top. We got a top ten for you guys. This is top ten scary ghost videos to freak you and creep you. Now, since we're still in the spirit of Halloween, and today's October by the time this video comes out, I'm going to start reacting to a lot more creepier ghost-related topics and videos. As well, Halloween continues to go on. I'm going to try and react to as many creepy videos as I can and get out for October. Some may even go until November, as far as this, my list goes. But, um, yeah, not really too much else to say about that, but hope, let's get, uh, let's get right into today's reaction video, shall we, guys? Three, two, one, go. Pour myself some water. So the pitter holy, patter that's some holy water feet. here. That is loud. I gotta turn that An down. anonymous TikTok user who is the mother of a newborn baby here. has shared only one video to her TikTok page. But the video shows video. something absolutely chilling. Kids looking at something. They both heard that. It's here, by the way. Oh, First, the eerie sound of someone laughing can be heard. The mother is immediately alarmed because she lives alone with her baby. She then hears the patter of what sounds like small running footsteps. She's cooking. And that's when her home's back door. Here I am trying to figure out what she's cooking. Her motion detector goes wrong off. Way. She immediately fears that someone might be in the house. But in the end, she finds nothing and no one's there. What she heard and captured remains a mystery. The Old South Pittsburgh that was Hospital. A quick one. Twitch streamer Jordan DeSorbo, also known as D-Tune, sets out to explore Old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee. The hospital Again, opened. I was in Tennessee in, in July and I didn't hear about this. In 1959 and eventually closed in the late 1990s. Over the clinic's 30 Man, I was only in Tennessee for 3 days and we had the whole schedule planned out, but still I would have liked to out at least Maybe one day I'll return to Tennessee. Did like it down there. Who knows? Maybe I'll go down there again and just look for a scary place just to hang, just to check out. I don't know. Five plus years of operation. Obviously, hundreds of people have passed away inside these hospital walls. Mm. It is said that the spirits of many of these patients just never left. Visitors claim to have heard the eerie sound of crying babies, and many say they've seen horrifying apparitions and shadow people. However, none of these chilling stories stop Jordan from staying overnight and broadcasting his ghost he investigation stayed. live. He stayed overnight? On Twitch, Jordan decides to set up a static camera and a few paranormal research tools. He places a rim pod and a motion activated music box inside one of the creepy hospital hallways. Over three hours into his investigation, he captures something truly terrifying. 
So you come over to it. See? You just get in the area, and it works. If you want to try this out, all you have to it's do is go off, off isn't the music it? box, and it'll play a sound, just like that. Why are you continuing? Why are you continuing? Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn on the EMF. What just turned off? Nothing just turned off. Just like, did he just? Ho. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna back <laughs> That's up. That's why we vibe together. <laughs> I'm gonna back up. I'm looking at the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. Did you see it? No, I, look, right I was looking the at the motion chat. the activated music box and REM pod go off on their own, a creepy figure can be seen quickly walking past the doorway oh. right in front it's hard of Jordan. To see. Now, Jordan doesn't even notice, but his live Twitch viewers do. And one of them sends Jordan a clip of the creepy event live on stream just a few minutes later. Nobody's down here with me. That clip's intense. Fine, I'll watch the clip. Go ahead and, and show me the clip. I'll let you know if it's me or not. Go ahead and drop the clip again. Oh. Oh. I don't... I don't... I don't know. I don't know who that was. There's nobody else on this floor with me right now. I'm alone on this floor. Looking around to see if anything else happens. All right, y'all are freaking me out now. The Twitch streamer says he has no idea who or what he captured and says that he was completely alone at the time of the capture. Now, we've done stories on the Old South Pittsburgh Hospital before, and Jordan isn't Have the you? only one who recorded an eerie figure roaming the halls. If you're a regular viewer, then you might remember that just two years ago... I am not a regular viewer. I do re watch your stuff at times, new, but I don't always watch... I really should though. I like paranormal stuff. You know what? I'm going back to full time reacting to Nuke's top five. YouTuber and paranormal investigator hey, Franco, Franco TV. TV also caught a figure on camera while walking through the South Pittsburgh Hospital. Oh. So is this hospital truly haunted by the ghosts of previous patients? You tell me. I would think so. You can so. watch Jordan's entire spooky live stream and many more supernatural investigations over on his Twitch channel, Detune. Caught on cam. April Crisanto from Davao City, Philippines works as a job trainer for a company in California. Since April heads a team of remote workers from the Philippines, they all have to work very late because of the 15 hour time difference. April is on a late night Zoom meeting with some of her new trainees when one of their webcams captures something very strange. Mm. Hold on one second, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's coming off, it's off for the night time being There's a mark in my head, but the hat is indeed coming off. Now. Tackle the modules that are sun. Sa trailhead na apil po na itik nila. So guys, it's already 12 p.m. You may join Vince oh. sa Google Meet na link sa calendar invite and lul. No, wao sa tub to ina. Chana ko y age. Ako y nakita sa likod ni mo. Anya na lang. Dito dito sa pikas sa pikas sa pikas sa pikas. Masa? Na ako'y nakita! Oh man! Wait, dira, dira! dira. Uy, shit! Nitindog yun akong balahibo! Dira! <clears throat> Nana po yun ni... I don't know kung ni Agi or... Kamot or legs? Marag ni... Gita... 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 As? Or nai ni Agi? Mar marag nai ni Ana nitindog kadali? I don't know. Mo... <laughs> Sorry, naka-curse jig ko kayo. Nakuratan ko. Anyway, on the video. An odd translucent figure later. appears on webcam behind trainee AJ. April is actually so shocked that she accidentally curses on her work call 
and then immediately mutes her mic in panic. She alerts AJ, and then when he looks around, there's just nothing there. Apparently, AJ later said that this was nothing new to him. He says that he's really? been experiencing paranormal activity in his apartment for over seven years. He claims that he often sees the creepy apparition of a child throughout his home. So did AJ accidentally... Why hasn't he left then? That makes me more confused than anything else that we've seen so far. He capture video evidence of his haunted apartment? Or is it just a very strange trick of the light? Either way, I leave it up to you to decide. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Locked away. Take that user Sabrina and her fat. I took the hat off because I've already reacted to three videos nonstop. That tends to get a little tight at times. Reason why I took it off, if you guys are wondering. Family took a trip to the historic Aston Hall Mansion in Birmingham, England. Sabrina accidentally captured something downright chilling. But first, a little history of the mansion. Yeah, what is Aston Hall was built place? in the early 1600s by wealthy land baron Sir Thomas Holt as a home for his family. But not long after, the mansion became the site of a cruel tragedy. Sir Thomas Holt's daughter Mary fell in love with a simple servant boy and attempted to elope. Outraged by the scandalous affair, Sir Thomas locked Mary Holt away in a tiny room on the top floor of Aston Hall. Mary was kept there for over 16 years before she finally passed away from horrendous neglect and malnutrition. It is said that Mary's Eesh. troubled spirit was unable to move on and still haunts Aston Hall to this day. The mansion is now a public museum. After learning of Mary's tragic story, Sabrina and her husband go up to the top floor to have a look at the room where Mary was kept. Sabrina's husband decides to call out to Mary, and that's when things take... Because that always goes well. <laughs> ...a terrifying turn. Mary? What Me are no you harm. Doing? We know you're in there. We've seen you. Where are you, Mary? I thought I was going to slam, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh Mary? Did you see it? Mary? Mary, are you still in there, Mary? You can come out now. My name's Thomas. Hello. Yep. Shocked by what they just witnessed, Sabrina posts her video to TikTok. Many viewers asked Sabrina in the comments why she and her husband didn't go up into the room to investigate. They were terrified, so, obviously. Sabrina explains that the room is inaccessible, as the staircase leading up to it is just too unsafe to climb. The following footage was captured by a visitor who went against the Austin House. Here it is. Do not attempt this. Found it. There's the attic room. I don't think we're allowed to do this, but... We're gonna do it anyway. Let's go for it. Now that the room is tiny and hard to access. Oh. Wow. It is freezing cold in this room. My spirit Sabrina says went she past even the... showed her footage to the Aston Hall security team. And they too were shocked and confused by what she had captured. Me and my husband are not 
investigators nor are we um, ghost hunters. We was there as tourists. My husband thought it was clever to call out Mary after learning her history of walking around the castle. I was petrified um, and didn't find it very funny. Oh my God. Mary? Hello? So did Sabrina and her family capture the tragic ghost of Mary Holt, who may be forever trying to find an escape from Aston Hall? I leave that up to you to decide. If the room is so tiny, there's no way somebody can be able to make a shadow like that. Like an actual physical person would not be able to make a shadow like that. A year of horror. Lauren Combs from Waco, Texas is recording a Snapchat video of her friend and her cat goofing around in the kitchen Ugh. when something happens that they simply can't explain. Do you know the camera? Chilling here, being a kitty cat. Did you do that? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a heavy bottle of alcohol sitting on the kitchen counter unexplainably flips over as if forcefully pushed. The two friends just laugh it off and Laura stops recording. But this is just the beginning of a series of very creepy events that take place in Lauren's home. The fact that the cat didn't run away says that that cat was petrified of what just happened. Home. Not was that a thing of cider? Hold on. A series of very creepy events that take place. <laughs> yes, it is. It's Angry Orchard. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why did I see that? This in Lauren's home. Why did Not that make after, me pause Lauren the video? And her dog Luna are a bit freaked out when the doorbell suddenly begins to ring for no reason. Luna, come on. Nice name. I got a cat named Luna and she's not in here right now. The dog is visibly confused and Lauren opens up the front door to check. But there's no one there. Three weeks later, in the middle of the night, Lauren hears strange noises coming from outside her home. She begins to record and what happens next is truly bizarre. Why is there somebody outside? Oh my god. He went out. When Lauren opens the door to look outside, an eerie breath-like sound can be heard. The strange sound is picked up by both her phone and her outside CCTV camera. So after this incident, the strange activity in Lauren's home seems to dissipate and not much happens. Lauren's life returns to normal and at some point over the next year, she decides to set up a camera in her living room to keep an eye on her pets while she's away from home. Now, it's almost a full year later. And late one night, Lauren is simply sitting on her couch watching TV with her two dogs nearby. And this is where things get weird. But I missed it. He's gonna replay it again. I didn't see what happened. I was looking at the TV. Did her hair get pulled? Something seems to yank at Lauren's hair. She jumps up, completely confused by what just happened. At first, she thinks it's just her cat playing with her hair. But then she realizes that her cat is not even in the room. And the dog behind her seems just as confused as she is. So, is something from the other side trying to get Lauren's attention? Or just what do you think is going on here? This dogs, by the way. Let me know down in the comments. Of Ferrari Farms. 
Ferrari Farms in Reno, Nevada has a very mysterious history. Hold on, guys. Sorry, guys, I just wanted to close my window. It was getting cold in here. Anyway, let's continue. The area of land near the Truckee River was once home to many Native American tribes. Local folklore claims that when the Native people left this area, they left behind one body buried somewhere on this land. But details are vague and no one knows who this person allegedly is or why they would have been left there. However, some have even suggested that a Native American skinwalker roams this land skin protecting walker? the mysterious body. But the truth is, no one knows the exact history of this land before 1912, when it was purchased by the Ferrari family and turned into a thriving farm. Ferrari Farms has been passed down through generations and is still owned by the Ferrari family to this day. Frank Ferrari Jr. says that through the years, some very odd things have happened at Ferrari Farms. But what really <laughs> shook the him time, the time was a picture life. caught by one of the farm's trail cams. Frank has no idea who or oh. what this strange figure is, but he did find the image disturbing enough that he agreed to have a paranormal investigation team visit the farm in search of ants. It looks like the entity was running towards the house and it got caught halfway through running before it could dissipate. The camera. Answers. Popular ghost hunters Ryan River nice, and Wyatt from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal take on the creepy case and travel to the farm to stay the night. The investigators seem to get some very sinister warnings or possibly even threats through their spirit box app. So we always turn it on airplane mode so there is no interference whatsoever. Spirit talker. I'm gonna go set it over here so try and listen clear. I'm setting the object right here. Use your words, please. Maybe. There's just, guys, I just want you guys to understand there's so much that we need to cover and we could stay in one spot. Ryan. Did he just say my name? Yeah. That's no my shot. Name. No way. That's the second time ever that this device has ever said my name. Ryan. Again? Twice? Again? Two in a row's never happened. Huh. Never. Literally never. Why are you saying my name? Run now. Oh Run, Run now. now. Is there something we need to worry about? The team believes they might be interacting with the spirit of the Native American man or woman buried somewhere on the property. They continue exploring, trekking further into the wilderness. Then they experience something that chills them to their core. Right now we are I mean, making these guys our have seen way a lot, towards so. the back section where there is apparently a Native American, either man or woman, we're trying to find out. Also, as we were walking over there, we were going to go shut off the camera so that we can do a reset for all of our cameras so that we can swap out batteries, make sure we have enough for everything. When we were over there, we heard what sounded like somebody was literally walking in the bushes right next to the camera. Yo, there's somebody there. I don't hear anything. That's dude, how? Hello? You're not supposed I to be over them, here. I just hear them, that's all I hear. This way, this way, go, 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 go. We're gonna find out what it is right now. Hey, whatever it is, it's huge. I see it. What is it? Careful, dude. What are you doing? It's coming towards you. What the f is this, dude? What is it? Come out, please. An animal? We were literally just coming to move this camera right here and something started moving, but it's huge, which doesn't make sense. The only thing I can think of is a horse. There's no horse. There's nothing. We went to go walk around to see if it was any animal, but that was no animal, dude. These sounded like human footsteps, multiple branches breaking in each step. Was no horse, was no deer. We had no eyes looking at us. We're gonna go head back over there. All kinds of weird things happen here. Weird sort of energy. We're trying to find out. This is why we're here. Something seems to be following them. They hear loud footsteps and breaking branches coming from the woods all around them. They begin to wonder if the tales of the supposed, quote, skinwalker that stalks the area might be more than a myth. 
As the guys continue to investigate, things take a terrifying turn. Like I've been saying, skinwalkers are also known to be protectors of something or someone. So this body that is potentially buried here on this land, they could be protecting the body. What if we turn the light out? Complete darkness. Now. Let me shut it up. Shut the light out. At this point, we are vulnerable because we cannot see. I so if you want to give us that much. sign that you are here, then come on. Oh. Please. What'd you just hear? Branch just f broke, and that was a thick ass branch. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Then come on. Please. What'd and then it disappears. You can hardly see it. Ass branch. And it's gone. There it goes. It like Dude, pops up out of the there, ground man. and it There's goes sinks wrong. right back down. Where is it? The frogs are completely silent still. Like someone's just watching us. Whoa! Holy right here. Oh my god. They are here, dude. Oh my dude. Did you hear that? What was that? You're watching from a distance. You're here. We hear you. You might as well just come out. This is heavy boys. Anything? My heart's racing. Why are you just staying in there? What? What? Watch right there, just to the left of the camera in the bushes. Right there. I don't see I it. I just looked up from my camera right over here in the bushes. There's two, like, ready orange lights. What? You just a second. I don't see it. What the going on why is there something walking in every direction that we have right now i have a feeling something's gonna happen i have a really really bad feeling true. true just said true i don't want to stay and find out i'm not gonna lie man somebody's gotta grab just said device. true yeah f you i just saw you you f i just saw your eyes they just ducked down they just ducked down we're leaving all right, we don't want any issues, no problems. I saw you duck right down, like a human being. That was so f loud, dude. Twin paranormal static camera captures someone or something watching them from the bushes. A little later and they catch it again in a completely different spot. It's almost as if they are being stalked from the tree line. The team no longer feels safe and they just decide to leave. Could this bizarre figure be what Native Americans call a skinwalker? I've Could it be never the ghost heard of, the of a skin. If looking to end the future, a person buried on the farm grounds, or could it just be a real person an urban legend hiding in the about. woods with bad intentions? You decide. You can watch this. I've heard of the rake, but I haven't heard of the skinwalker higher investigation including many more creepy moments over on the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal Ghost Story Last Halloween news reporter Sam Hessler did a story on a Halloween tour through the creepy old Green Ridge Cemetery in Saratoga Springs, New York. The cemetery was established way back in 1844 and is the final resting place for literally thousands of bodies. As Sam Hessler is doing her live news report and showing some of the cemetery gravestones, something happens that absolutely shocks her TV viewers. And as you can see behind me here, what? we have a few gravestones, but what you can't see because it's dark. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. I was the trying to figure out why the thing is behind. I was trying to figure out why that, why her microphone is pixelated, and then I saw that out of my corner of my eye. Sam moving from right to left and disappearing off camera. Sam and her crew had no idea of what they had captured until fans of the news show started tweeting at them about the strange capture. So could this be the spirit of someone buried in Green Ridge Cemetery? Or is it just a very odd mist? Let me know. I would say both. The doll, the demon, and the wardrobe. Oh boy, here we go, another doll one. TikTok user Steph Garza claims that for the last 10 years she has experienced strange paranormal activity in her home in Mexico after purchasing a creepy second-hand doll. In the beginning, Steph started hearing the unexplained of voice of a child crying out from within her home. 
Finally, she had had enough and just threw the doll away. But unfortunately, the paranormal presence never left. One night, Steph hears frightening sounds coming from her bedroom closet. What happens next shocks her to her core. Espera, espera, ve, se está abriendo. Uh. Ya viste. No mames. Ya decidió hacerse presente el amigo. Y de día. Miren, 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 miren. Mire. Ay, no. There's nothing in there. Spirit Orb. Para que no digan que está en la ropa. ¿Dónde? I got a flight kicked in again. <laughs> Tiny little childlike hand wraps around the closet door and quietly slides it open. Doubtful viewers of Steph's TikTok assume someone must be hiding inside the closet, but Steph shows that there's no one there. Steph Garza believes that the sinister presence in her home may be a demon, only taking on the form of a small child. But what do you think? Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. When one door closes, another one opens. Italian YouTuber Fancy dedicates his YouTube Fancy. channel to finding funny and weird internet videos to share with his viewers. None of his videos have anything to do with the paranormal. In fact, Fancy says that he has never even experienced anything paranormal at all. Until now. One day when Fancy is recording a gaming video for his channel, Something happens that he still can't explain to this day. Bene, ma direi che possiamo passare al prossimo livello di Damor. Fancy 3. Proviamo, Fancy. ragazzi. Sono curioso di vedere quello che accadrà. Dobbiamo scaricare la canzone. Ok, ragazzi, fermi un secondo. Ho sentito un rumore fortissimo. Ma io sono a casa da solo. Spero sia il vento, ma non credo visto che io chiudo sempre tutto perché altrimenti ci sarebbero casini mentre registro. No, non è possibile. Ragazzi! No, adesso vi devo far vedere. No, vi giuro, raga, non è possibile. Allora, ragazzi, sono andato a controllare cosa potesse essere il rumore. Stiamo un attimo calmi. C'è la luce del bagno accesa. Vi giuro, io sono a casa da solo, non so se lo potete vedere. Stavo registrando, ho sentito il rumore della porta chiudersi e c'è la luce accesa. Raga, non sto scherzando. Allora, entro. Raga, sto tremando, vi giuro. Allora, come potete vedere, non c'è assolutamente nessuno mm. qua dentro. Perché c'è la luce accesa e la porta sbattuta? Just Raga, vi giuro, sono a casa da solo e tra l'altro c'è la finestra chiusa. Quindi non può essere stato di certo il vento, per cui non so come sia possibile che la porta si sia chiusa da sola e si sia accesa anche la luce da sola. Cioè, io vi giuro, ho spento tutto, ho chiuso tutto proprio perché dovevo registrare. Facciamo finta di nulla, diciamo che è stato il vento anche se era tutto chiuso. Ok, ragazzi, rieccoci. Non so cosa sia successo all'improvviso la porta del bagno. Si è chiusa. Ah! <ride> Ragazzi, no vabbè, giuro adesso mi sto cagando in mano però veramente Raga sto tremando, sta succedendo qualcosa di strano e non sto scherzando Ragazzi, la porta l'avevo chiusa Raga si poteva vedere prima che ho chiuso la porta quando sono entrato No raga vi giuro Che cavolo sta succedendo? 
Cioè ha sbattuto a caso Ma poi con quale violenza No re... No ragazzi dai ma non scherziamo Ragazzi Was that light on before? C'è la luce accesa di qua Ragazzi era spenta prima L'avete potuto vedere Sono passato da qua Yeah it was off spento. No ragazzi ma non scherzo Cioè Perché c'è la luce accesa qua de... Vigi No ragazzi sto impazzendo Ma che cavolo sta succedendo Raga vi giuro non lo sto facendo apposta Raga sto tremando da morire Non so se si vede Ok ragazzi Via io non ce la faccio Quando succedono queste cose Prendo e me ne vado assolutamente Adesso mi vesto Vado in macchina perché mi sto cagando in mano Non so quello che sto facendo Sto impazzendo raga No ragazzi No ragazzi vi... Raga vi giuro su quello che volete Si vede oh. Ragazzi Ragazzi si sta muovendo Via Via assolutamente Non me ne frega nulla Alexa è Ma va a cagare non mi interessa The YouTuber hears a sudden loud bang coming from somewhere inside his apartment. When he goes to investigate, he discovers that it was his bathroom door slamming shut all on its own, and the lights are now turned on as well. A little rattled by the experience, thinks he goes back to playing his game. But then the door to his office forcefully slams open right next to him, scaring the living <laughs> out of him. The light <laughs> I in never the hear. Is now on you him. never hear nukes. You curse in his videos. You never hear him curse. <laughs> Garing the living out of him. The light in the bedroom is now on, and he hears more unexplained noises. A rocking chair in the other room is swaying back and forth on its own. Thinks he has had enough and just leaves his apartment to take a break. While he's gone, a motion-activated camera pointed at his office door captures something downright chilling. On the other side of that door. An eerie figure can yeah. be seen coming and across I I saw the Foxy's office door. It then slowly disappears back into the darkness. The YouTuber swears that no one was home, and he's left shocked by what has happened. So did Finksy have his first ever encounter with the paranormal? Drop a comment and tell me what you think. The Floating Man. Okay. Reddit user Corian is on a holiday trip with his friends exploring the beautiful countryside of Kandersteg, Switzerland. But then he and his friends spot something very strange oh. above the mountains. Okay, okay. Th there is a floating... There's nothing under it! No! There's nothing What? <laughs> what? What? What the f***? No! Is it that? Yeah, yeah. Holy Look! Wait, Look what? at that! I'm trying to figure out what it is. Yeah, I have no clue. Are there? It's a floating man, and we have. Oh, it's in the clouds now. Well, we're not sure if it's a man. A floating. Um, okay, can, can I yeah. just. So. What the? I see that. I yeah. see it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But right now we're trying to. It's hard to, find to see right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not. It's still okay. there. Closer, though. Yeah. After a certain point. Huh? Literally, what is that? Okay. What is happening underneath? Hold on. In a series of short videos, Reddit user Corian attempts to capture this bizarre floating thing on camera as he travels around the area with friends. The next day, Corian and his group are on a tour bus leaving Kondersteg and he tries to see if the unexplained object is still there. And it is. It's still there? Black now. Oh, I see that. I don't see it anymore. That is sinister. Right, 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 right. It does look like it's hanging on something. Here, here, here. Where is it? Now it's blue. Blue? No, you see where that? I see it. I don't. Oh, we're getting oh, really I see it now. much better now. It's looking a lot is that? better in terms of. Where did it go? Am I looking up or down or? I can't answer yet. My eyes lost it. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, I see it too. Oh, I see that. It looks like, it looks like a paragliding. Where is it? Can you see it? Oh, it's there. Yeah. What the hell? 
No, I see that now. It's a paraglider. Oh, I see that. That's a paraglider. That's blue, white. No it's blue and white. It's not paragliding, it's a paraglider. No, it's been there for 14 hours. It's not a paraglider. Yeah, it's totally still there. Whatever it is that's floating up there in the mountains, Corian and his friends say it looked a lot like a human being with somewhat distinguishable arms and legs. So just what could this be? As always, I leave that up to you to decide. That one took me. Thanks for so a much for watching. Loop. My schedule is all over the place, so please subscribe and click. Okay. That one actually took me a lot longer to on a loop than I originally thought it was going to be because that intrigued me quite a lot. But with that, what is going on in the chat? What is going on here? Ow! In the air. Okay. Uh, okay. With that being said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. Please like and subscribe, all that stuff, guys, and I will see you next video. Bye.